Welcome back dear students. Let's now see this question from 2008 exam. It's for two marks and the statement reads, it's from 2008. The statement reads, consider a CPU where all the instructions require seven clock cycles to complete execution. There are 140 instructions in the instruction set. It is found that 125 control signals are needed to be generated by the control unit. While designing the horizontal microprogrammed CU, single address field format is used for branch control logic. What is the minimum size of control word and the control address register? Okay. So first, I like to explain one line from the question. It reads, single address field format is used for branch control logic. That means we are using one address field in the control register for specifying the address of next micro instruction. Okay for branch control logic that means after this micro instruction where are you going to branch for that we are using a single address okay then they are saying we have 125 control signals in total okay one instruction takes seven clock cycles total we have 140 instructions and 125 control signals now because in total there are 125 control signals you know we need to reserve one bit for each control signal because this one is a horizontal microprogrammed control unit okay horizontal microprogramming means one bit for each signal so we need to reserve 125 bits in total that means the control signal is going to be of 125 bits Okay, by the way, the control register generally has three parts. Condition bits, then the control signal, then next address. But from question, it's very clear that we can skip this condition bits or condition part because they haven't specified anything. We are not given any hint that how many bits is this condition part. So you can safely skip it. Anyways, options make it more clear that we need to consider only these two parts. Okay, so now this part is 125 bits and we need to find the length of entire control word. That means we also need this value. So next address, how many bits is, going, is it going to take? For finding this, we need to know how many addresses are there in total. In the control memory how many locations are there okay so this is your control memory where all the micro instructions are saved if we somehow get to know how many instructions in total are we saving in this memory we'll get our answer okay so each instruction it needs seven clock cycles and you know, in every clock cycle, we are performing some micro operation. That means in every clock cycle, we need one control signal. Okay. That means a instruction needs seven control signals to get completely executed. One control signal for each clock cycle. And we have 140 total instructions. That means we have these many clocks, uh, sorry, control signals in total that are to be saved in the control memory. Seven signals for each instruction. Total becomes 140 into seven. This one comes out to be 80 and two, seven plus two is nine. So we need to save 980 signals in total. Now 980 addresses means a 10 bit value. How I'm saying that it is 10 bit because with nine bits, we can address only 512 instructions or micro instructions. 
बट वी नीड टू एड्रेस नाइन एटी सो टेन बिट्स विल डू द जॉब एनी वेज यू कैन टेक लॉग लॉग टू द बेस टू नाइन एट्टी एंड इट्स सीलिंग वैल्यू सो दिस वन दिस वैल्यू विल बी नाइन पॉइंट समथिंग एंड यू टेक इट सीलिंग यू विल गेट टेन सो वट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द इंटायर कंट्रोल वर्ड इट इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस टेन दैट मीन्स वन थर्टी फाइव एंड द नेक्स्ट एड्रेस इज टेन बिट्स सो दीज आर द टू थिंग्स दैट दे आर आस्किंग सो आंसर इज वन थर्टी फाइव कॉमा टेन एंड इट इज ऑप्शन डी ओके नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन द क्वेश्चन और दीज थिंग्स इन अ बिट मोर डिटेल फॉर परफॉर्मिंग वन माइक्रो ऑपरेशन यू नीड सम कंट्रोल सिग्नल ओके इन टोटल देर आर वन ट्वेंटी फाइव कंट्रोल सिग्नल ओनली दैट मीन्स ऑल द रजिस्टर्स और ऑल द पार्ट ऑफ सी पी यू कंबाइंडली नीड अ टोटल ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी फाइव सिग्नल्स सो डू यू थिंक वील रिपीट सिग्नल हेयर बिकॉज वी आर सेविंग नाइन एटी नो इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी दैट सिग्नल विल रिपीट बिकॉज सम माइक्रो ऑपरेशन मे नीड two of these signals okay like two of these 125 bits might be high some of them might need three and they could be any three so in total you could generate two raise to the power 125 these many signals okay for example say you want to perform add operation on the algu first control signal that you are going to require is add okay second control signal that you are going to require is a right signal given to some register which contains the first operand similarly uh, you you are going to require two right signals for two different registers which will provide the operands so they they are three in number one for alu two for the registers one more thing i have a question for you now because we are saving all seven control signals for each of the clock cycle required by one instruction then why do we need an next address no because each and every control signal is saved in order say this is your control memory and this is instruction i1 so on we are saving seven clocks uh, seven control signals for each of these 140 instruction that means till i140 now because we are saving every control signal then why do we need a next address once we have located this base address then we just need to add one to get the next micro instruction then why do we have this next address you think about it and i'll see you in the next video